Hi everyone, I'm Ryan and this is the state of my garage at the moment. So, I've got some time available now. I'm going to get all this cleared out. I'm going to get straight back into the Scrambler project. Um, I just want to say thank you very much to the uh, enormous uh, response I got to the first video. Please do consider hitting that subscribe button or like or comment. Give me suggestions or help. I'm going to need it as this progresses. So with that, I'm going to crack straight on. Let's get on with it. So, this is the spares or repairs engine that I've bought for the Scrambler project. And I have no idea what condition this is in. I can tell you it's covered in cobwebs. Um, it's described as turns over doesn't run. But I can tell you that's not strictly true. Um, so, I mean, I've had a quick look at it. Uh, and what I found is, I mean, certain things like, you know, the output shaft, that, that feels like it spins freely, no sound. That feels all right. Um, I can see, obviously, the little chain on the oil pump is intact, at least. Um, now, I've tried turning it over by hand. So, and there's movement, but I can't get it to fully rotate. Um, so, I'm going to start trying to investigate exactly what condition this is in. I can see the bolts have been removed from the starter motor. Um, I've got both side covers missing so I'm going to need both a clutch cover and a stator cover. Um, so if anyone's got a pair of those um, please let me know because I'm going to be in the market for some. Um, until I get the clutch cover I can't do a compression test because without oil in it I think I'd be doing some damage. So for now I'm just going to start slowly disassembly, um, see what condition we're in. Um, I can tell you to begin with that's not the original rocker cover gasket, uh, not the original rocker cover because the one that came with this engine was cracked and damaged. That is bent so that's no good, that's a scrapper. The cover's good, that's come off of another engine, so I'm comfortable with that. But if we look in the top here, straight away what we can see is that's okay, the thread there's fine, but this has got a snapped off bolt in it. So I need to try and get that out somehow, and there's almost, I mean, it's completely flush with the top. So I'll try a couple of non-invasive methods, see if I can get hold of that with anything first. If not, I'll take the head off, lift the carrier away, and then start trying to see if I can get, you know, drill into that or something. Um, and then I'm going to try and see why it won't rotate. I mean, it does say for parts, but let's see if we can understand it a bit better. All right, so first things... Let's see if we can get that out with anything. Um, let's try some uh, the old mold grips. See if there's anything I can pinch on there. Hang on. Come on. See, whenever I watch other people on YouTube do this, it always seems successful. Is this just real world, or is it me being incompetent? Come on. There's no, there's just nothing there to grip onto. Okay, so change of tact. This time using a little tiny Junio hacksaw blade just to cut a little tiny slot into the little tiny bit that's remaining. Trying very hard not to cut into the casing. Okay, I can feel the slot there. This one's good one. Small. Let's 
see if that will get in that thread. Yes. There we go. We have movement. Come on. There we go. There we go. Come on. There you come. Yes. Excellent. Got it out. Good for that. Okay. First successful job. All right, let's just check the threads are still good with just a little M6. Yep, that's good. That screws in all the way. Check the other side. Good. So whilst the bolts were shot and broken and snapped and bent, the threads are okay. Alright, that's a relief. So I just need a replacement pair of these. Which actually the rubber bit seems okay, but that is a bit broken, a bit bent. So, yeah, okay. All right. So investigating why it won't turn over, and the one thing I have noticed is in trying to turn the flywheel. If you can see in there the stator which should be bolted and solid I can see moving so that's not right someone's been in here and also that was unbolted so I mean I've just put those bare th thinking that was all it was the pickup but that's moving inside there so see if we can get that bolt off see if we can lift this flywheel off and um yeah, that might be a challenge. I don't have a poller, but let's see what we can do. All right, first things first. What's that, 17 mil? Yes, is that... Is that gonna come out? Oh, okay, well, that's the first bit of good news. That looks pretty corroded to me. Hmm, okay. Is this loose? That would be far too much to hope for. So it has been wound in, but I can't think of any reason why this data will be. Okay, so I need to try and get that off. I think I'm going to wind that back in a little. Certainly not ripping anything. Try and get some pressure underneath the sides of this and give that a good tap. Hmm. Wish me luck. Okay, so this next job needs three hands. So uh, you couldn't come and give me a hand, one of you, could you? Um, I want to try and get a little bit of pressure there. A little bit of pressure there. And I mean a little and then hit that central. So, see if we can deploy a leg or something. Let's try and do this. So. Yeah, hey. suspected it's all trying to come out together right okay that looks pretty corroded but this it's got no screws on it which I find 
of interesting. So what's going on there? Who's taken the screws out of this and why? I think I'm going to remove this whole assembly and uh, see if we can find a way to test it. So uh, yeah, let's get it all out. With that out of the way, can I get a rotation from this engine? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just drop some oil down the spark plug holes. Let that soak in for a while. Put the flywheel back on and then just see if I can get it to rotate through complete rotation. Alright then, we'll go for a good square to that in each of these. Okay, I think this is probably been sat long enough now. So, oil's been just seeping through there for about an hour. Um, I can't see any other obstructions or problems. So, the moment of truth, am I able to rotate this? Let's... Yes, that's one rotation, that's two. And it feels like that's good, that's good. Okay, well, that I'm chuffed with. So that tells me that the engine itself is not seized. It just wouldn't turn over because the stator was because this was just loose. I have no idea why someone's taken that apart to remove some screws and left it in there. That makes no sense to me. But I'll accept that. So if it's turning over freely, and it clearly is, next I think I'm gonna just see if I just put some spark plugs in it. And just turn it over by hand do I feel any compression hmm. okay all right I'm gonna do that now give me one minute find some spark plugs so I've put some spark plugs in which test the threads and they feel okay so the threads are all right and if I just turn it over by hand you can hear it releasing air pressure so I don't know how good the pressure is but it is sucking in air pushing out air at least to a certain extent okay I think that's about as far as I'm going to go with the block right now because I need to work out how to reassemble the clutch which I don't know how to do yet um, so I've got let's see the clutch itself has been removed and at the moment I don't have it on now let's see if I put it in a gear that's another test I can do does the clutch rotate Okay, maybe that was a mistake from my part, so, ah, ah right, okay, so this whole mechanism is loose, not connected or something, right, 
Okay, I didn't appreciate that. So, I need to work out what goes on here. So, there's a number of unknowns at the moment to me. Firstly, I don't think that's connected right. I think it's probably meant to go further back and that connects under here. So, that's disconnected. The clutch clearly goes on here, clutch pack, which I've got. Um, I don't know if I'm missing anything yet. Maybe I am, not sure. I'll come back to that. But my biggest concern immediately is this hole here. Because that, I understand, is where a kickstart would be. So, does that mean this engine had and needs a kickstart? Or is that simply always there, regardless of whether you've got a kickstart or not? Um, I don't know, so I need to try and understand that. If this engine can have a kickstart, if I can fit it, I'd prefer that because that, I think, would eliminate the need for me to carry a battery and the extra weight of the starter motor, which I'd probably be quite keen to do. So can I do that? Can I fit a Kickstarter? Do I need to? And also then, if I am going to fit a Kickstarter, presumably that's a different case. Because this, obviously there needs to be a, a hole. Ah, oh, questions, questions. Okay, all right. But everything seems to turn freely. And most of it seems to be here. So let's take that as a positive for now and carry on. Okay, I think I've found the three screws that should hold the stator in place, which I've salvaged from my um, bits and pieces. So um, I think I can reinstate the stator and then I'll try and just measure the windings on it. So let's see if we can get that in place. Okay, so I think that was all the right bolts, the right screws. They appear to fit perfectly. They're the right length, they're the right pitch. And the two up here, I think I've found the two correct ones for that as well. Uh, and that's all nice and secure, and that's secure. So, that is back physically reinstated as it should have been. Um, still no idea why it had been removed, so I think I've looked up some ohms, some uh, resistance readings. I'm going to see if I can measure those on these wires. Hopefully, I haven't just wasted my time. <laughs> 